So today, ladies and gentlemen, we have an exclusive response from Lily Jean. Oh, uh, uh, and also, we have an exclusive response from Tatiana. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, it's time to ride the bull, baby. All right, how's it going? Welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. In today's video, we shall be once again talking about the Instagram model who faked her entire life. The one, the only, Lily Jean. Now, I make videos on this girl as if my life depends on it. And uh, when you love money as much as I do, you know, uh, it kind of does. But Lily Jean, who is she? Well, she's that Instagram model who apparently claims to have a million real followers. The super famous 19-year-old who apparently has paparazzi chasing her down the street. Yeah, her mother took that picture. The caption is pap away. But me and Lily Jean, uh, we can relate on that level. Uh, I have fans turn up at my house all the time. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. Bro, I told you, you can't come to my house like this anymore. You just can't. Don't look at me like that. But as I mentioned in my video six months ago, she also has a fan account which is based around pictures of her feet. You're telling me Lily Jean is now posing as a fake fan account where she posts pictures of her own feet on there to gain more attention. That's a, uh, that's a uh, fucking lovely ad, isn't it? Get out! Just get out! But uh, it's not quite over yet. That's what he said. Lily Jean continues to post these pictures even though there are 50 to 60 year old men in the comment section. She's very pretty, sweetheart. All right. Fuck, I'll have a day off, Clifford. Fucking hell. Imagine going on Instagram and seeing your granddad comment on feet pictures. I would feel uncomfortable just showing my feet in front of him again just in case he gets a stiffy. <laughs> But Lily Jean, my friends, has been in quite some drama recently with another YouTuber known as Tatiana. I had conversations with both of them today and we will be reviewing the opinions and evidence later on in the video. But firstly, let's talk about something as sweet as lying. Bit of a backstory, but uh, who is Tatiana? Well, she's a YouTuber with 28,000 subscribers who makes tea videos. Now, she uploaded videos on Lily debunking her lies and discussing how apparently Lily's mother has been harassing Tatiana. Her first video was talking about Lily's live stream and the things she said on there. What happened, you might ask? Well, I don't know. Because the video's privated. So I spoke to Lily Jean about it and... This is what she said. Come on, shit. Nobody harassed her nor told her to take the videos down. In my public statement on Twitter, I asked her to leave me alone. Well, right, yeah. Because we all know when you tell someone to leave you alone on the internet, it works. Oh, yeah. I actually have the links going to my tweets on the community tab on YouTube. In the letter, we demanded it, but she never complied. In the letter, we informed her that we would pressure all legal remedies, of which we still might do if this does not stop. She knows who Diane is. It's time to stop. See how this is going? Tatiana is not the victim. Tatiana created this shit. Tatiana chose her own path. Next question. Wow. Just wow. She, she's really set the scene for me here. I feel like I'm sitting here watching some sort of dramatic theater and you know what? It's 10 out of 10. So apparently Lily or anyone never told her to take the video down. Claims that it is time to stop. Tatiana's not a victim here. She chose her own path. As Lily Jean said, nobody, and I mean no one, told her to take the video down. However, uh, 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 that's because maybe Tatiana didn't really have a choice in the situation. Hi Tatiana, due to a copyright takedown notice that we received, we had to take down your video from YouTube. Video title, Lily Jean's infamous birthday, live streams and updates. Takedown issued by Lily Jean. You received a copyright strike. How could you do this to me, Lily? I thought we had something. A bond of trust. I was there for you. And today, you broke that. Well, as you can see, uh, Lily Jean lied to me. Is this woman a person of honesty? Well, I will leave that for you to decide. Just after... I show you this. Lily Jean said to me apparently nobody harassed her or told her to take the videos down. Tati is not the victim, remember? Assuming now that uh, Tati is the suspect and Lily's the victim. <laughs> well, if Lily Jean's the victim, I guess you can call me a Spinosaurus with human baby legs. Now, Lily's mother got involved and started sending messages to Tati's friend on behalf of Lily. And on the topic of copyright, I would want her to legally have her sign an agreement between all of us that she will not unprivate those videos, she will not talk about us, she will not get involved with any of the stuff anymore that consents LJ. Anything else you'd like from us? You know, since you've 
you know, demanded so much already. Cup of tea, perhaps? Talk about making a deal with the devil. And I'm not gonna lie, this situation kind of reminds me of when the mother goes into school to talk to the teachers about her daughter's insane decline. Enough of this kindergarten bullshit! Imagine pressuring someone into legally signing a document that you will not unprivate videos. That is just a bit extreme. They're just YouTube videos. So thank you, Lily, for lying to me about private in those videos. Meanwhile, your mum is trying to get Tati to sign a legal document not to unprivate those videos. Give me a second while I just go into the back room and absolutely fuck myself. But to me, this just shows that Lily and her mother are trying to hide the videos that have been made on them. People only want to hide something if they're guilty for it. Which is why I don't hide my wank sock. I'm not guilty for it. I'm actually extremely proud of the man I've become. <laughs> actually. However, my friends, uh, Tatiana wasn't the only person Lily Jean decided to strike. She also did it to a YouTuber called uh, The Christian Show for a video titled Lily Jean's Horrible Response. And there is a takedown issuer. Right there. Couldn't have uh, thought of a better title myself, to be honest. But now let's move on to the next segment of this video, where apparently Tatiana docks Lily Jean's entire family. No! Oh no, surely not. Please, please say it's a lie. Well, uh, let's find out uh, together, shall we? Doxin. Lily Jean, oh Lily Jean. Let's talk about Doxin. Now, what is Doxin? Well, Doxin is something you do to someone when you release all of their private information on the internet for all the public to see, such as names, addresses, etc., other things. Now, according to Lily Jean, Tatiana doxed her mother. But according to Tatiana, it was Lily Jean who doxxed her. <laughs> well, firstly, let's take a, a quick dramatic read of what Lily Jean said to me. Now, I would like to remind you they think it's okay to dox my family. Put my mom's social security number up in the username to scare us. And put financial papers up. That's doxing. See how it's not exactly what everyone wants to hear? At the end of the day, they want to hate me to get views. I'm seriously sick of lies. I don't lie. I hate liars. Also, a lawyer writing a letter does not cost 4000 even in New York City. That's ironic. You know what, everyone? I've waited a long time for this moment. It's gotta be said. I've kept it in for too long. I f***ing hate liars. I f***ing p*** them off. I'll shove them in the f***ing they f***ing my f***. I'll f*** all over their f***ing and they can f***ing die again. I can't get a f***ing f***ing Don't lie about me. I hate liars. I'll get my lawyer on you, I've got about 2.5 million in the bank right now. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, but what Lily Jean said is actually a lie, which is ironic because she hates liars. All of her mother's information is literally on her website. Is there even a point talking about this anymore? I I, I don't know, <laughs> just pfft. But it turns out, my lovelies, that uh, Lily Jean did actually dox Tatiana. <laughs> no! Lily released Tatiana's full name on her community page while she was having a rant. I know this because Tatiana told me, and I've seen it for myself. Unlike vaginas, um, I've heard good things about them, I know, I've seen them in pictures, but I've yet uh, to see it in the flesh for myself yet. Now what I have seen, ladies and gentlemen, is racism in its flesh. But before we talk about that, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button because I want to hit a hundred thousand within the next three months, uh, uh, April. Ah, I just said it. I, I just made the statement. I, j I just said a date. I'm scared. But comment for the algorithm and say, I hate liars. And try and get to 2,000 likes on this video if we can. Plus, the memberships are now working. So if you want to sign up to the memberships, you will indeed get my videos one day early before everyone else, and that's epic, so, you know, so I, I appreciate you guys, I wouldn't be here without you. Let's get into racism. So racism, uh, don't worry, we're gonna talk about uh, her boyfriend real soon, Fipe. <laughs> Fipe? Alright, Fipe, how we... <laughs> Hello, Fipe, how are you? I can't take it seriously, I know his name is Philippe, okay? I know, I've seen the comments, however, I roll with feet, babe. Sounds a lot better. <laughs> now, apparently, Lily Jean isn't racist. Uh, she said this to me, but uh, I've debunked that before already. Lily Jean once used Black Lives Matter as a defense mechanism. But speaking of defense, I don't know if you've seen Attack on Titans. Handshake to you if you have. If Lily Jean was to cast in that, she would be the five meter abnormal. I can see it. But her mother isn't racist either, apparently. Which is why her username on Twitter is All Lives Matter. 
She changed her username to that, by the way, because Tatiana changed her name to Black Lives Matter. So then Lily Jean's mother changed hers to All Lives Matter as a way to make Tatiana look racist to white people or other people in the world. Makes sense if you have a low mental capacity. But I'm going to read now the uh, tweets that Lily Jean's mother has made about uh, Black Lives Matter. Sketchy. All lives matter, period. Not just one religion, not just one race. We are all people and every life matters. Thought I'd let the janitor know that. Thanks for the screenshot, boo. There is no one that aggravates me more than this person. This person wants to make me turn my asshole inside out and run down the corridor on my hands. And the janitor? Is that some sort of degrading thing to say because you are a what? Social media expert? Apparently, anyway. So I'll take it as that. She's degrading people with normal jobs. So I'd let the janitor know. But now we are indeed going to get into a segment that I like to call How Psycho Are You? A place where we determine how psycho someone is by using a little meter. And uh, this segment will be based on uh, feedback eh? and uh, accusations. So, let's get it boys and girls. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you might be asking, what could be next? Well, here for you, ladies and gentlemen, I have a segment I like to call How Psycho Are You? Game show is in alpha stages and has yet to be fully developed. But this segment's going to be about Fipe and uh, How Psycho Are You? Which I love. I love psychopaths. Actually, I... No, I don't. Now, firstly, I'd like to say, we've never seen this man before. We have never seen Fipe's face. We've never even seen him tweet anything because we don't even know if he exists or not. But what we do know is, is that he may be a paedophile, if he exists. <laughs> Lily knew of him when she was nine, um, and uh, he's nine years older than Lily. That's the the factor right there. And apparently they, they got together when she was 14, which would make him 23. What's that noise? Is, is that an alarm? That is a, a, a paedophile. This is paedophilia, and yes, it is against the law. But hey, listen now, it's not against the law according to Lily Jean, all right? Lily Jean claims it's not against the law for a 23-year-old to date a 14-year-old because one, it was never reported to the police, and two, her mother gave consent. Well, it's fine, isn't it? It's fine, what's the matter? Just because a crime hasn't been reported doesn't mean it's not against the law. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to uh, kill everyone. And I'm going to do this with this knife. It's okay. I'm not going to get caught. I checked with my mother. She said it's okay. Since when has anything worked like that? But for a claim to be made like that that is not against the law tells me this man doesn't exist. I don't think he ever has unless Thanos snapped his fingers and he just flew into the wind like dust. However, how this brings Tatiana into it is that she actually called the police department and reported that Lily Jean may be being groomed and also being raped. Because obviously, if a 23-year-old has sex with a 14-year-old, it's classed as standatory rape. If a man has sex with a child, it's illegal. I thought it was just black and white. But you may be asking, ladies and gentlemen, how did Lily Jean respond to this? Did she respond in a polite way? Did she apparently act out of psychoness? Does that make sense? Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you, Lily Jean responded by saying she's in fear of her life. Now you might be asking, how could Lily's life be in danger? Well, that's because Lily decided to create a thought in her head that it's possible now Tati might travel up to New York and gut her. Oh. I even replied to Lily Jean in DMs and said, that is a bit far-fetched. Tell me now, do you honestly believe, everyone in the comment section, do you honestly believe Tatiana, a YouTuber, is going to travel to New York and gut Lily Jean? This isn't the fucking walking dead, like. Considering Lily Jean is responding with, like, two brain cells. Maybe it is the walking dead. But hey, listen, that's not the least of it. No, 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 no. Apparently, um, according to Lily again, Tatiana was apparently grooming Lily Jean. Get out of here, man. Just get out of here. But the reason Lily says that is because apparently Tatiana started speaking about Lily on YouTube when Lily was 17 and Tatiana was 22. Apparently, according to Lily, uh, Tatiana was having sexual thoughts about that. What? <laughs> and those are Tati's words, by the way, not mine. Uh, sexual thoughts. Uh, all the information in this video, just to say quickly, is gathered from the internet and opinions and DMs and all that kind of stuff. And my opinion. Just for you to know. Yeah. But apparently, according to Tati, this is incorrect. Because Tati started speaking about Lily 
on her 19th birthday. Uh, Lily's 19th birthday when she turned 19. Happy birthday. Uh, but I highly doubt that Tatiana was grooming Lily Jean. I mean, that, I feel like that's just a defense mechanism. We all know these days that if you groom someone that's underage, you're gonna get fucking cancelled for it. So I think it was a defense mechanism to like put up barriers to not make her look like the bad guy. The problem is when you try so hard to convince people you're not the bad guy, it actually makes you the bad guy even more because you're trying to make other people look bad. Does that make sense? But before we uh, finish off this video, um, Fipe isn't real. He's a Disney character. Lily Jean's a fan of Disney films. He's a Disney character. Case closed. <laughs> but if you just want to have a few giggles with me quickly before this video ends, these are actually pretty funny things I want to show you. Uh, Lily Jean said this to me in DMs. I don't know why she's made you guys to think she's a victim. I have every right to strike a video that is lying about me using my copyrighted photos, my videos without permission, and my trademarked name. This is my right, and it's that right in every state in USA. Listen, Lily. Um, we don't need your permission to use your videos. We don't. It's fair use. It's fair use, man. Don't abuse the copyright YouTube system. Just don't. You can use this video. I'm not going to copyright strike anyone because it's fair use. And my copyrighted photos and my trademark name. Jesus. Sorry, I'll just get down a lower level than you, shall I? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Copyrighted photos. What? Are you serious? They're on Google. They are on Google. Ah, oh, man, this is ridiculous. That's hilarious. The cycle meter has gone up again. Of course it has. It's ridiculous. The last thing before this video ends, Lily Jean has a message for you from me. Stop bullying her. But, but seriously, don't attack. Don't send hate. Nothing. Okay? This automatically makes me a better person than Lily Jean. Automatically. You know why? Because she pinned this on her live stream. Fucking attack! How can you expect not to be attacked yourself when you are sending your fans to attack other people? But yes, that is the end of today's video. Don't forget to leave your opinion in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I will reply to as many comments as I can. And without further ado, subscribe and like. See you in the next video. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.